Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? I don't go out to eat too often, but when I do, if they have a sampler platter on the menu, we get it and everyone shares it. They're not great and they're not healthy, but it gives everyone at the table something to munch on until the meal comes. Most sampler platters have bone-in or boneless chicken wings, mozzarella sticks, potato skins, jalapeno poppers, etc. But sampler platters vary in cost and can cost as much as $15. In most cases, you're paying a lot of money for a bunch of prepackaged frozen processed foods that was simply pulled out of a box, thrown into a deep fryer, and served. So like most days when I'm out and about, I find my wheels turning into the Dollar Tree parking lot. That's when my addiction to my own personal adult playground kicks in, and I have no other choice but to head into the store and hunt for more cheap processed foods to try for you, the people, so you don't have to. So on my most recent visit to my own personal adult playground, I found Snaps Potato Sticks, Snap's mozzarella sticks, and Snap's cream cheese pepper bites. Each one obviously only costs a dollar each. So I'm gonna make my own appetizer sampler platter for only three dollars. The potato sticks take the longest, so let's start with them first. This five ounce box of loaded potato sticks are made with real baked potato, cheddar cheese, sour cream, and bacon in a crispy coating. These are a great taste for a great price. The picture on the box looks delicious. But we all know the product inside the box rarely looks like the picture on the box. Snaps are a delicious anytime snack that satisfies the whole family's snack cravings. Snaps are made with quality ingredients and the perfect combination of flavors. An easy afternoon snack, a game day favorite. Snaps are the perfect anytime snack. There's a novel of ingredients for something as simple as fried mashed potatoes, but this is typical in most frozen processed foods. They're also partially produced with genetic engineering. So maybe after you eat a bunch of these, you'll turn into the Incredible Hulk or grow a unicorn horn out of your head. There's two four-piece servings per box. Per serving, there's 220 calories, 11 grams of total fat, three grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 520 milligrams of sodium, 26 carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, one gram of sugars, and five grams of protein. They have a pretty short Best Buy date of less than a year. You can bake these in the oven or toaster oven, or you can deep fry them. I'm gonna bake them in the toaster oven at 350 degrees for 18 to 22 minutes, flipping at the halfway point. So let's get them out of the box, see what they look like, and then get them into the toaster oven. And they look just like frozen mozzarella sticks. So I spread them out on my baking sheet, and then into the oven they go. Now for the 5.5 ounce box of cheese sticks, which is real mozzarella cheese nestled in a crispy golden coating. And they tell you again that these are anytime snacks. And once again, there's a lot of ingredients besides the actual cheese stick. And these are also partially produced with genetic engineering. There's four two-piece servings per box. Per serving, there's 140 calories, 7 grams of total fat, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 270 milligrams of sodium, 14 carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, no sugars, and 6 grams of protein. And these also have a short Best Buy date. These can also be baked in a conventional or toaster oven or deep fried. I'm also going to bake these in the toaster oven at 350 degrees for 8 to 12 minutes, flipping at the halfway point. So let's open up the box, see what they look like, and get them into the toaster oven. No surprise here. As expected, they look like mozzarella sticks. There were a couple stuck together that would not come apart. So they're going into the oven just like that. Finally, to complete our appetizer sampler platter, here's a 5.5 ounce box of cream cheese pepper bites, which are made with real cream cheese and jalapenos with a special blend of spices nestled in a golden crispy breading. And once again, they tell you how good and convenient they are. These are also partially processed with genetic engineering and have a lot of ingredients, as expected. There's four two-piece servings per box. Per serving, there's 100 calories, five grams of total fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 5 milligrams of cholesterol, 250 milligrams of sodium, 13 carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, 1 gram of sugars, and 2 grams of protein. And this one also has a really short Best Buy date. These also have the same three methods of cooking. And once again, I'm going to bake these in a 350 degree toaster oven for 10 to 14 minutes, flipping at the halfway point. Let's get them out of the box, see what they look like, and then get them into the toaster oven. At first glance, these look like chicken nuggets. So I spread them out onto the baking pan and into the toaster oven they go. 
After 22 minutes in a 350 degree oven, our potato sticks are done and they don't look like they fared too well. They were all super glued to the foil and the directions didn't say anything about greasing the pan, so this isn't good. So I let them cool down a bit before I try to remove them so I wouldn't tear them completely apart. After 10 minutes in a 350 degree oven, our cheese sticks are done and they look even worse than the potato sticks did. And I even cooked them for less time than the instructions stated to, to try not to lose even more cheese. Again, I let these cool for a few minutes before removing to help hold them together and salvage some of the cheese. Finally, after 14 minutes in a 350 degree oven, the pepper bites were done and they looked perfect. So let's get our appetizer sampler platter plated up and give it all a try. Here's the finished $3 appetizer sampler platter. And it doesn't look too bad, especially for $3. So I tried the potato sticks first. From the top, they looked good. But when you look at the bottom, not so much. I took a bite and it wasn't too bad, even though it lacked potatoes, but at least I could taste potatoes, but that was about it. I didn't taste the bacon or anything else. I tried one more that didn't have a blowout. And obviously there were a little bit more potatoes inside. The potatoes themselves tasted a little bit like potato pancakes, which are one of my favorites. But again, no bacon flavor or flavor in general. Next, I tried a cheese stick and I was pretty disappointed. There was a whole lot of breading and almost no cheese. And this was one of the better looking ones, which I didn't think had a total blowout. I tried another one that didn't look like all the cheese had melted out. So maybe all hope wasn't lost. But as you can see, there's no cheese, just a whole lot of breading. Finally, it was time to complete the trifecta and I tried one of the cream cheese pepper bites, which visually were by far the best looking out of all three. As soon as I bit into it, I realized it not only looked good, but they tasted really good. They had plenty of creamy cream cheese and were packed with a spicy punch, but not too spicy that you couldn't enjoy them. But thankfully they had flavor, which I can't say about the potato and the cheese sticks. I tried another cream cheese pepper bite and it was equally cheesy and flavorful. I actually enjoyed these and ate two, but stopped there and tossed everything into the trash because I'm not too sure about that genetic engineering statement. That's the last thing I need is a unicorn horn grown out of my big head. So let's go back over the three from the worst to the best. The cheese sticks were the worst of the three. Very little to no cheese after it all leaked out. No flavor and way too much breading. Even if there was a good amount of cheese, it was too much breading. So I'm gonna give the cheese sticks a big fat zero out of 10. The potato sticks were just a little bit better. They did have some potato in them, not as much breading, but not a lot of flavor either. They say there's bacon in these, but the pig must have farted on them because I couldn't see or taste bacon like in the picture. So with that said, the potato sticks get a two out of 10. Finally, for the best one out of the three, the cream cheese pepper bites, which held together and didn't leak whatsoever. They were creamy, cheesy, had a crunchy breading and had a pretty good flavor. And for a buck, they were pretty good. Not great, but edible, which is why I'm giving these a five out of 10. None of these are something I would buy again, but hey, if you wanna give them a try for a dollar, you're not gonna break the bank. And you might even grow a unicorn horn or turn green like the Hulk. That genetic engineering stuff kinda of creeps me out. It's like they have some mad scientists creating stuff we're gonna consume. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.